Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So another tutorial na ituturo ko sa inyo is on how to set up a power quality analyzer. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng power quality analyzer? Uh, from, from the word itself, uh, power quality analyzer. So, ito ay isang portable instrument na ginagamit natin o ng katulad kong electrical practitioner para ma-measure yung uh, quality ng isang electrical system o yung quality ng isang power system. This time, samahan niyo akong i-set up yung isang power quality analyzer instrument sa isang system. So, please watch this. So, ito yung motor control center kung saan i-set up natin yung uh, PQ analyzer. Ito yung supply side kung saan itatap natin yung PQ analyzer. And ito yung load nya. Uh, load yung motor. And dito naka-tap yung supply side. Uh, make sure na tama yung pay sequence nung power supply natin para sa tamang measurement. So, ito yung isang set ng PQ analyzer. Um, meron tayong voltage probe uh, with different colors para sa line to 3 natin. And meron ding um, flexible AC sensor. Current sensor. So, ginagamit siya para ma-measure yung current ng isang system. Um, pwede siyang install sa 600 volts to 1000 volts. So, make sure at um, nasa range yung ano natin, system natin. Since na wala pang load, um, yung value ng mga parameters natin is zero. Since na wala pa siyang probe na nakakonect. And okay, to start the setup, uh, i-click natin yung which set button and makita natin yung mga instructions naka display sa monitor and i-follow lang natin okay since na 3 piece yung supply natin um, piliin natin dun sa wiring na is 3 piece 3 wire and i-off lang natin yung ground since na hindi naman natin gagamitin yung ground pero kung uh, gagamitin nyo yung ground is i-on nyo lang so magiging selection nyo lang is 3 phase power wire Okay, so after ma-select natin yung wiring, i-click natin yung next button. Uh, so makita natin dito yung selection ng current sensor. So i-select lang natin. So since na na-select natin yung current sensor na gamitin, um, isa-isa na natin ilagay yung voltage leads and current sensor dun sa slots. So, so wag natin pindutin yung next button hangga't hindi natin na i-insert yung mga voltage leads and current sensor. So makikita niyo ito yung uh, slots for voltage leads. So yung line 1 natin is yung red and yung line 2 natin is yellow and yung line 3 natin is blue. Okay, so after ma-insert natin yung red, i-next natin yung line 2 which is yung yellow. Make sure na tama yung paka-insert natin. 
for better reading accuracy. Okay, so next, i-insert natin yung line 3, which is yung blue. Okay, so, after matapos natin yung voltage leads, next natin i-insert is yung mga flexible sensor, current sensor. Okay, so yung line 1 natin, so the same color lang din, is yung line 1 natin for current is yung red, yung line 2 natin is yung yellow, and for line 3 is yung color blue. So, kung makapansin nyo, bakanti yung slot natin for channel 4. Yan yung gagamitin sa natin para dun sa ground. Since na hindi na natin kailangan and enough natin dun sa selection nung current sensor, so, bakanti na talaga sya. So, after natin makomplete yung paglagay ng voltage leads and current sensors, pwede na natin i-click yung next button for zero adjustment. Okay, so please wait. So, based from the display, so hintayin natin matapos yung adjusting ng measurement. So, okay. After performing zero adjustment, uh, makakita natin na i-declare natin yung input voltage kung ano ba yung um, input voltage natin kung 460 ba, 230 or 110 so based dito, yung supply voltage natin is 460 so i-click lang natin yung declare voltage and kung makapapansin nyo is wala pang reading yung ano natin yung PQ analyzer since na hindi pa nakakonect dun sa sa system natin okay so pwede na nating itap dun sa supply natin kung saan yung point of measurement natin yung mga leads natin for voltage so unahin natin yung line 1 yung red and after nung red is yung line 2 so And next na yung line 3 natin. After natin ma-connect yung lahat ng voltage leads, magkakaroon na ng value yung line voltage natin, 465, 457, and 459. And meron tayong frequency na 59.99 Hz. And yung voltage input natin naging color green na from X to green. Ibig sabihin, may supply yung ano natin, system natin. Then click lang natin yung next. for the next step okay so next step natin is to connect the current sensor system natin and kung mapapasin ninyo yung current sensor natin is may arrow yellow arrow big sabihin dapat yung arrow is pointed dun sa load side natin
make sure na tama yung paste sequence natin. Yung line 1 is yung red. Yung line 2 is yung yellow. And yung line 3 natin is blue. Kasi once na hindi tama yung line 1, 2, 3 natin, mayroong epekto dun sa power factor natin. So, hindi accurate yung reading natin. So, kung mataas yung current range ng na-select natin, pwede natin i-select yung mas mababa para hindi uh, yung value ng reading natin is kitang-kita tulad ng 40.1 per line. So, time to time, nagbabago naman yung reading. Once na may connect natin per line yung current sensor. Okay, so once na matapos natin ma-insert lahat ng current sensor, yan, meron tayong reading na 40.15, yung line 1, and line 2 natin is 41, and yung line 3 natin is 38.63. And yung current range natin is 500 amperes. So based nga dun sa monitor, make sure the type of current sensor is properly recognized, and connect the current sensors and select the proper range para sa better accuracy, better reading accuracy. Okay, for the next step, uh, click natin yung next button. And kung mapansin nyo dun sa monitor, dapat yung voltage input, current input, and phase difference must be in color green. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung connection natin. Okay, and ito yung mga parameter sa mga kita nyo is yung voltage, current, and yung um, power factor so meron tayong power factor na 0.82 and yung voltage 1, 2, 3 natin 462, 469 and 463 and pagdating sa current yung line 1, 37 amperes, 41 and 40 amperes in 4 line 3 and click lang natin yung next for the next screen makikita natin yung transient transient, uh, transient reading, interruption uh, total harmonics ng voltage, yung swell, and yung dip, and yung frequency. So, dito, um, dito na tayo magkaselect ng recording interval natin. Kung pwede tayong 1 minute, pwede 5 seconds, depende kung anong gusto natin na interval yung data natin. Okay, so dito, ang iselect ko is um, 30 seconds. So, click lang natin yung monitor button. So, makikita natin yung mga reading ng mga parameters natin. So, we have voltage, current, frequency, power, and power factor. And also, meron tayong unbalanced uh, voltage and unbalanced current na pwede natin makuha based dito sa instrument natin. Okay, so click lang natin yung monitor button para sa ibang parameters na gusto natin makuha. Okay, so meron nga tayong unbalanced sa 0.98. So, pagdating sa motor, kapag nag-isid ka ng 2% unbalanced voltage, uh, mag uh, possible na 
mag high temp yung motor natin so make sure na hindi exceed tayo dun sa unbalanced ano natin okay so kung gusto natin may record yung mga reading natin ng mga parameters uh, pwede tayo maglagay ng SD card para dun sa PQ analyzer uh, based dun sa interval na sinelect natin makakuha natin yung reading ng mga parameters Okay, so click lang natin yung start recording. Para mag-start yung record. So, kung yellow pa rin yung recording, ibig sabihin, ang process pa rin yung recording. And, once na maging green na, is, yun, nag-start na yung recording ng mga parameters natin. So, pwede na natin siyang iwan. And, balikan na lang natin yung, kung kailan natin pwede. Um, kung hanggang kailan yung recording natin. Okay, so may nakalagay naman na waiting. That's the end of my tutorial so thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates and tutorials. Thank you.